What's up guys, Pavelo Gaming here, and today I am doing day two recap of E3. Today's news was le there was less news today in E3, but the e the news we got was pretty big. So let's get right into what they announced and what was released. Say, so the first thing that was in the Microsoft press conference was Project Scorpio. Now Project Scorpio is supposed to be a new console that's supposed to be released December of 2017 and supposed to be the most powerful console ever made. It's now we don't have any any like uh say specs like lots of specs, but what we have right now is that it can run six teraflops of graphical power, which is insane. It also has 4K abilities and uh, can run games 60 FPS, which is insane. And also, we haven't got an exact, we haven't got an exact price for this thing yet, but it's supposed to be around the price range of 250 to 300 pound, or that's like probably about maybe about 400 dollars. I have no idea. I I really don't understand. Anyway, uh, next was about the play anywhere for Microsoft. I don't really understand, okay? That <laughs> I'm just saying this is that that's another thing that uh Microsoft released. It was play anywhere. I'm pretty sure it's about uh cross platforms between Windows 10 and Xbox One, but I don't really pay attention to Microsoft press conferences because I don't own an Xbox and I probably I probably won't have one for a while, so the next thing which I don't care about either, which I'm going to get hated on, is Gears of War 4. I, I don't care about Gears of War, but it was released anyway. I'm not, I'm stuck, I'm going to stop hating on games and stuff about Xbox, because I don't want to sound completely like an asshole, but anyway, Gears of War 4 stage demo happened yesterday, and there were some people playing it, and the graphics looked pretty good actually, but I don't think I'll ever play a Gears of War 4 game. The next thing which I'm excited for, although I don't own an Xbox, is Halo Wars 2. Halo Wars 2, I don't know much about it, but it's coming out February 2017, and it is like a Halo strategy game, and it doesn't look that bad. Like I played most of the Halo games, I played all the Halo games up to 4, and I just love Halo so much. So, I, I have a place in my heart for this game, so... Uh, this is about Dead Rising 4. Now, I am excited about Dead Rising 4. I I loved Dead Rising 2. I love Dead Rising 3. There's just... There's something really satisfying about building your own weapons to hit zombies in the face with. There's just something really fun about that. And the gameplay mechanics are really nice. And it just looks like an overall great game. The next game on our list is Watch Dogs 2. We got a gameplay walkthrough as such for the DeadSec infiltration mission and the the parkour in this game looks amazing. I just can't wait for this game to come out. It just looks absolutely insane. I was so happy to watch that. It just looks so nice. And also it's Ubisoft's 30th anniversary this year so happy birthday I guess. The next thing that Ubisoft announced was South Park, the Fractured Butthole. But just before you start thinking I'm saying something wrong, it is the Fractured and then the word butt, like B-U-T, and then whole, as in like uh, a whole team or something. But of course it's supposed to sound inappropriate. But I didn't play the Stick of Truth. But the good thing about this is, if you uh, pre-purchase this game, you get the Stick of Truth for free. You get a code for it, which is a pretty good deal, to be honest, since the Stick of Truth is still 30 quid in the PlayStation Store, so you might as well get it. The next thing we got was Ghost Recon Wildlands. We got a gameplay trailer or walkthrough as such of it, and oh my god, this exceeded my expectations so much. I, I was just thinking... Ghost Recon, it's going to be another bland Ghost Recon game, there's going to be, it's just going to have stupid AI, the graphics are going to be terrible, and when I watched that, th when I watched that gameplay trailer, oh my god, it just wanted me, I just want to get it, I'm going to buy it. It comes out March, March of 2017, and I just can't wait to play that game. And the final thing 
that was released by Ubisoft is Steep. Now, I don't really know what to think of Steep, but it's an extreme sports game where you basically play as a skier on the French Alps, and I, I don't really know what to think of it. I don't think I'll ever buy it, but I'll sure as hell watch gameplay of it. But that's all I really have to say, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and see you.